Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. Today's video I'm super excited to do because it's going to be one of my vinyl art inspired videos. You guys seem to enjoy these, I don't do them nearly enough and so today's the day I wanted to do something super creative and kind of with a sunshiny vibe because oh the weather has just been total rubbish in the UK, raining, windy, awful, I just wanted to do something sunshiny and happy and creative so that's what we're going to do. So. The album that I've chose for this one is by Kate Bush and it's the Kick Inside. I think it's perfect for what I'm looking to do because it's got all of that yellow and sunshine kind of vibes to it. Very oriental cover actually, it's a beautiful cover. And there's a lot I can do with this because it's got orange, it's got red, it's got like, as I say, that oriental kind of vibe to it so we can play a little bit with the structure of the look. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. So before we do the makeup, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my Kate Bush vinyl collection. Not for too long, because I know you guys are, are here for the makeup maybe, but I got into Kate Bush in the late 70s. So I was born in 68. This album came out in 78, I believe. And this one's got the hit single that you all know, Wuthering Heights on it. And I didn't own this album back in the day. I didn't used to, buy too much vinyl until the 80s but three or four years ago I think it's four years ago now I bought another turntable and wanted to get back into vinyl and that was one of the first ones that I I came across there's a vintage vinyl outlet within a, a vintage store in our town it's called area 51 within vintage retreat and oh it's just many a happy hour has been spent delving through their vinyl shelves and finding treasures and the artwork on these are so pretty I think I could do more videos like this because this one never forever are oh, just stunning I mean this is what I love about vinyl more than anything else it's just the way it's it's something to own it's a, a whole package that you just don't get from like listening on Spotify or whatever but even the inside you know it's got all of the the gatefold sleeve in it and yeah it's just truly beautiful this one I think this is probably my favourite album actually. This one has got Army Dreamers and Babushka on it and yeah, just the whole vibe and aesthetic. There's even a, a little cat look in the, the artwork and I love cats. This one's beautiful as well, Lionheart. She's dressed as a lion in this one. Didn't think there was quite so much scope for basing looks around this one. It's kind of, yeah, green or neutral I suppose, but stunning imagery on the album. This one's got Probably the only track you might know is Wow on it, but it's a fantastic album. And then the last of my vintage ones is The Sensual World, and again, this one's pretty. Could do something very monochromatic and black and white based around that one, but I thought there's more scope with the one I've chosen. But again, a fantastic album. Uh, a bit more recent, so, well, when I say recent, 1989. So, so yeah, that's that one. And then the albums are re-released on record store day and they came in boxes of four and I think there's 16 albums all together but I didn't buy them like that because I'd already got some vintage ones so so this one was brand new this one's the dreaming and I've also bought hounds of love this one we could do a very nice purple look <laughs> based around so but I just think out of all the albums I've got the imagery the pictures the the whole themes of these albums are just so so beautiful so without further ado, I'm going to scoot you in. We're going to be doing a look, as I say, around the Kick Inside album, doing something very sunshiny, red, yellow and orange, uh, including cheeks as well and lips, going with the whole theme. So let's get started. So for this look, I wanted to incorporate a few different products, some of which you might have, some of which you may not, but you're only going to need, if you decide to do it, a dark red, a kind of more tomato-y kind of mid-tone red, an orange and a yellow, and then a yellow shimmer, that might be a bit more difficult, but we do have one, and then a yellow highlighter. So quite a few things going into this one because it's going to be a creative look, it's not your average wearable thing. But we're going to be using the Club Nebula by Kaleidos and Aniela Knitmist. I know a lot of you have this one. We're going to be using the Ugly palette from Lightly Makeup because I love this palette and I just can't wait to use it again. It's got a beautiful red in there and it's got a really nice yellow. We're also going to be using the Clown Blush palette from Lightly Makeup as well. 
because we're going to use the red and orange blush because I'm going to do blush as contour for this look. And then for the yellow shimmer, I've got Nomad Cosmetics Home for the Holidays, which has got a very pretty yellow shimmer in there. It isn't gold, it's more yellow than gold, so I thought that would be perfect. We've also got some pencils from Linda Halberg, a yellow one and a red one. So quite a few things going into this look, need to get on with it really. So I think we'll do cheeks first because I always feel a bit kind of weird if I haven't got a bit of contour or something going on. I normally contour like my cheeks before I come on camera, but we're going to do it as I say with blush. Could be a disaster, could be all right. So we're going to use Circus. So to do this, to start off the, the kind of half shape of it, I'm going to use this brush to help me. It's the Chisel and Trim Contour from Sigma and it's got a very thin top to it. And hopefully that way we can position this red without it kind of going too crazy. So that's gonna look absolutely insane until it's blended out. I just wanted to place it where I want the contour to go. Which for me, I always contour a little bit higher than perhaps you should because I think you should probably go underneath your cheekbone but I want to lift my face a little bit and kind of give that illusion that it's a little bit more chiseled than perhaps it is so we don't want to come down too far and then I'm just going to use this brush it's just a kind of blending brush to start blending that out but I wanted to keep it fairly strong and what I'm going to do once I've got this blended to a degree is I'm going to use the orange in this palette called Contortion to blend it out further. Now bearing in mind this is a whimsical look, it's not a, a wearable look. I don't think it's looking too bad. Right so we're going to go into Contortion now, this one here. I'm going to keep with this brush now because I want a bit more of a diffused kind of blushy effect now that I've started to get the, the contour down. So I need red to kind of be the heart of it and then orange to finish it off. We're going for editorial here, we're going for striking and quite strong so it's makeup playtime, that's what this is today. This is take my mind off of the fact that it's going to be 60 mile an hour winds again uh, praying that the remainder of my garden doesn't get obliterated. <laughs> Honestly, it's been the worst weekend off for uh, like my anxiety. I just literally spent the whole time looking out the window and panicking. So doing makeup gives you that, just I don't know, escape from it, doesn't it? You can't think about, well, I'm still thinking about it, but you can't think about quite so much else when you're doing it. All right, I'm gonna need to build up quite a bit of this contortion shade if we're gonna make this look anywhere like normal. Now I'm going to take a much bigger, kind of fluffier contour brush and I'm going to go into the yellow shade which is called Carnival which I don't think I've... oh blimey I've just looked at how much I've put on there that could be a disaster no, I think we're going to be okay it's more scary in the pan than it looks that's actually helped her Give us a gradient between the different colours there. I actually think that looks quite a lot better than it did before. But it's a strong contour for sure. So we've got the contour down, I want to go in with a highlight. So we're going in with Solar Sailor from Kaleidos. Sadly this one's no longer made anymore. It's such a shame because everybody loved this one. Well everybody that likes, I don't know, wild and out there makeup liked it anyway. I certainly liked it. So I'm just going to pick out the, the tippy top there of my cheekbones with that. But we are going to be using that in the look as well. It's such a pretty golden yellow highlight. Stunning. Okay, so we're contoured and cheeks are done now. So we're going to go in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC to prime my eyes. Just to give us a canvas. And then I'm going to do a technique in this one that I've not done since I did my first impressions of the Club Nebula and I did a very unique placement for that look and I've never done it again since and I couldn't remember how I did it, I had to watch the video this morning but 
it's one of the things I just never repeated and I think it bears repeating because it turned out quite fantastic if I say so myself. I really liked how it looked. It was just something unusual, a little bit alien kind of to what I normally do. So to start the look off then we're going in with a red giant. This is why I got this palette out because it's got a really fabulous a deep red and although there's a red in the Lightly Makeup palette that's a lot more of a tomato red, you know, a brighter red and I wanted something deep for the next stage that I want to do. So I've loaded up a eyeliner brush and we're gonna kind of sketch from here, sort of the side of my nose and up and this is one of these looks that's going to look insane until I've finished. I might even look insane when I've finished. <laughs> but it's just a bit of fun. Now when I did it last time, I think I brought it sort of there and stopped. But this time I want to kind of wrap it around my tear duct a little bit. So we've got something along those lines going on. Now we just need to try and get the same shape on the other eye. Which I think is always the hard bit. I was thinking of doing this with graphic liner, but that's so unforgiving. Like if you make a mistake or you don't get the shape exactly how you want it, you're kind of stuck with it. Whereas with eyeshadow, you can just wipe it off if you get it wrong, or you can blend it away. But that's not coming out too bad, I don't think. That could have gone a little bit higher there. And then we just need to try and bring this bit around the tear duct again. I think this is one of these that if you're watching, you're like, is she going to be able to pull this off? I'm wondering the same, guys. All right, now we're going to go in with Samus, this one here, and use that as a blending shape, but we're very, very small brush so this is a Morphe E36 because we don't want things to go too out of control she says with bright red butterfly wings all over her eyes <laughs> look like antennas don't they but yeah just using that just to gently blend where we've put that colour and then I'm going to intensify that red afterwards wanted to use this just to give us that little bit of gradient there. I thought I'd do this bit first because it's the hardest bit to get right. I think when I did this before, I did this bit last and I did the blending in my outer corners first. So I'm just going to do sort of little circular motions on this edge. I've not added any additional product. The product's going a long way though. Okay, I think that's as much as I want to do with that for the time being. So I want to start working on this outer corner here. We're going to have some space where there's nothing. So I'm going to start working out here. I'm going to put Anger Mood in my waterline and kind of just a little bit around this edge here. And I only want it to halfway. 303 from Linda Halberg. Smudge that in. It's just to give us a little bit of a base for that red. Now we're going to take Amanita from the Lightly Makeup Ugly palette and start working some red into this outer corner. I've got another Morphe E36 but it's a little bit more of a fluffy version, they're all different. Tap off the brush well and I'm going to start building a, a rounded shape in this outer corner. And I'm going in with my lighter shade first this time. I'm going to use that red giant to build some depth with this red. So I only want to take that to where I've taken the Anger Mood pencil. So about halfway, a little bit more than halfway. Really tapping off the brush. Gentle circular kind of motions to get this colour down. Same thing on the other side, so we're wrapping it right round the outer corner. I love doing looks like this, it's just something so different and it's it's like art, it's like painting rather than doing makeup I think. I'm trying hard to get 
get this to look somewhat similar on both sides but I want to keep a, a rounded shape as I say perhaps extending it to sort of an oval as it goes out towards my brow just don't have the small enough brushes that I need sometimes I was looking for a good brush to do this I'm gonna go in with construction now the orange slightly dip into that and take that around the edge of that Amaninta shade so we use that as our blending shade and start to get a little bit of orange into the look but more so on this outer corner and less so underneath my eye I don't want the orange underneath my eye really so I'm going sort of 50% on 50% off between skin and this red shade with this orange shade we've got someone coming round to quotas for our fence hopefully today I'll probably scare the life out of him when I open the, the door in this makeup eh? <laughs> it's a Monday today and I've got the day off work because we should have been in the Isle of Wight this weekend but we didn't go because of the weather and I thought you know what it's a good day to just have a makeup playtime eh? so back into Red Giant from the Kaleidos palette and let's try and get a bit more depth in this outer corner so I don't want to go too far onto my lid but I'm just just this very outer V area I'm gonna work that shade in I'm really pressing this in because we don't need to blend now so much because we've got that blend in the outer corner so now we can just pack this color down and just gently fluff it into the colors that are there I think we need a slight bit more of that Aminta shade here just to help the transition in this outer corner. Right, so now I just want to bring this up to my brow but without any additional product. So this is a Morphe M506 and as I say, no product, circular motions, just to bring that right up to the brow area there in this corner. Hopefully I've given myself enough product to go as far as I want to. I think I'm going to take some of the yellow. So there's a shade Lucid in here. I'm going to use that just to give us a little bit more interest up here. But I'm just going to take that on that same brush. Yeah, I think that just helps bridge the gap there. So deliberately leaving all this area free. Now for the lids, I'm going to cut out the lid shape, just the actual lid shape, with NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to use a concealer brush for that. I'm just going to rock my head back so that I can get right into the crease there. Although I wish my eyes weren't quite as creasy, it's annoying. But it can be done. So are you guys Kate Bush fans? I love female singers with unusual voices and voices that are just like instantly recognizable and so when I first saw Kate Bush's performance of Wuthering Heights on Top of the Pops which is a pop show in the 70s and I think it stopped in around the 80s but I saw her kind of dancing around on stage barefooted and free and singing like banshee almost it was just like mesmerizing to me something i'd never heard and i just love the tone of her voice the pitch of it just how unique it is so yeah that's why i've got so many of the albums okay now i need a little bit of red shimmer so we're gonna go with this shade friends in the home for the holidays palette i'm gonna pop that next to the red that's already there just want to keep that to my my lid so gotta be careful kind of cheated and made my lids a little bit bigger than they are with the shape that I'm doing what a beautiful reflective red that is I don't think I used that when I did a look with this palette I've only done one look with it I'll link it if you want to catch it it's a Christmassy kind of look but because obviously the palette came out of Christmas but can literally wear what you want whenever you want can't you that is stunning wow that red shimmer is something else honestly I don't know if it's coming out on camera just how beautiful it is but it truly is gorgeous 
So next up I'm going into the shade Kaiser from this palette. Kind of like an orangey shimmer because I think that will give us the gradient across the lid that I'm looking for. Kind of going a little bit like diagonal now. I definitely don't want this above my lid now so being careful where I place that but using that to give us a bit of a flow between the red and the yellow. Okay for the remainder of my lid space but just on my lid here I'm going to go with family the yellow. These are such creamy shimmers, beautiful. So I'm going to take that kind of cut crease shape really build that up so we've got quite a opaque yellow going on there but we've still got a gap as you can see same on the other eye so getting right into the crease there and fading it into that kaiser shade it's a beautiful yellow wow probably going to have to edit some of this out because it's taken me a while to, to build this one. Okay now we're going in with Happy Mood in the remainder of my waterline here. And I'm going to carry on that yellow shimmer onto the lower lash line here. So what I'm doing is tipping the brush downwards to pick up the colour just on the tip there. And then with this area here that we've got left we're going to use the Solar Sailor highlighter to fill that gap. So I've got a firm shader to do that because we've got a lot more area to, to cover. I'm doing it with this because it's a little bit less opaque but it will still tone in with the shade of that yellow and help kind of blend that yellow up into the crease a little bit going all the way up to the brow. This look is not for the faint hearted. If you don't have this highlighter then kind of a, a glitzy kind of champagne might work. And you could do this colour placement that I'm doing with any colours. Don't need to do it with red or orange if you don't want. Alright so that's the look to this point. I'm going to hop off camera for mascara, probably a little bit of a wing liner and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys so this is the finished look. What do you think? I really love how it turned out. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to pull this one off. It's a very unusual structure and shape. I think this nose shape is quite hard to pull off and to get right but yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out actually. I think small brushes are key if you're going to attempt to do this one. I doubt that any of you are going to try and recreate it if I'm honest. I did it more for entertainment than anything else. But yeah, it's the idea one to rock at the supermarket or to open the door to the fencing guy in, in my eyes. <laughs> that is just a bit of fun. And as I say, makeup is all about creativity for me. It's about having fun. It's about not doing the same looks again and again and the same technique because you don't progress that way, you know. And if you don't think you've got the skill level to pull off something like this, I'll have to do a video actually showing you some of my looks when I first started doing makeup four or five years ago. They were truly terrible and I couldn't have done anything like this then. So it's just practice. And this isn't perfect, you know what I mean, by any means. I'm not saying that it is, but you gain in confidence and you learn some of the, the techniques along the way. And it's fun doing it. And if it doesn't work out, just wash it off. So I think I've fulfilled the brief for this one. So this was the album cover. I think I've got some of the vibes of it going on. I've got the colours in there. It was very inspiring to me, this mix of colours and very sunshine and happy as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed it and you found it somewhat entertaining. I know a lot of you have said you wanted to see more of the vinyl inspired ones. I've got a few more I can do because there's so much inspiration in, in the art of vinyl, I think. I've got at least another two or three that I'd like to do all different colours and different techniques and, and styles of makeup that I want to do with those. So yeah, let me know if you're enjoying seeing that kind of thing or whether you prefer a bit more toned down than this and this is a waste of time for you because you wouldn't wear it. I'd love to know, but I just like to, as I say, just have a bit of a play really. So 
if you're new to my channel I do look like this not on the regular though I do a lot more toned down things as well I do a few reviews of palettes but not so many these days because I'm on a low buy but mainly my channel's about having fun with the makeup that you already own and these are all palettes that I already had and you don't need anything special to create this really just use what you have you know don't go out and buy the palettes that I've shown you here just to create something like this that's not what it's about it's about the creativity for me so I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed filming it if you're new to my channel hope you might consider subscribing before you go other than that guys I just hope that you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are keep safe and I'll catch you in the next video bye guys